Yo, what is going on guys? It is Coach Mo here back with another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create an auto exec inside a Counter-Strike Global Offensive because a lot of you guys might be running into the issue of your settings aren't saving. You know, some of these jump throws you're trying to put in, you know, other commands, they're not working even though you're putting them inside your config. So today we're going to troubleshoot that. We're going to fix this problem and make sure that you guys are set to go and, you know, you have all these commands ready for your gameplay, right? So the first thing we actually want to do is just start, you know, leave Counter-Strike. So I want you guys to go over to your desktop. I'll take you from the beginning. I want you to open up Steam. So we, we need to locate our Counter-Strike files, right? And some of you may not know where it is, so I'll show you two different ways. Um, the first way, this is where most of your files are going to be. Go ahead and go to this PC, Windows, Program Files 86, and go ahead and click on Steam. Um, scroll down to see user data. That's where mine is. And then click your profile. If you have multiple accounts, there's going to be multiple folders here. Make sure you're using the correct uh, account. And if you don't know if you're on the right one or not, you can come over here to Google and just do like Steam ID Finder. And use one of these tools and websites. You'll be fine. Just paste in your information and boom, you, you'll know which one is yours. But for me, I already know. So we're going to click on this one. Once you do that, go ahead and click on 730, go ahead and click on local and then CFG and then all of your files should be in here, right? Now, what you want to do is I want you to create new, I want you to create a new text document, right? And when you create it, I want you to name it auto exec, right? Now that's very important, name it auto exec. And what you want to do is put in any of these commands. I'll, I'll copy these and paste them in the description of the video if you want to use mine. But I want you to put in any commands that you need, like, you know, a jump throw, a run forward jump throw. I have my view model stuff in here because for some reason it kept getting reset. Maybe I have, you know, other files somewhere messing with it. Uh, but you just want to put in whatever uh, settings or, you know, commands into this so that every time you launch the game, it, it you know, it, it actually auto execs it. So. Uh, go ahead and do that. I'll show you a really easy way if you're struggling to find where your uh, files are at. Go ahead and right click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive Properties. We're going to go to Installed Files right here and Browse. Now this is gonna, just going to pull up where Counter-Strike is. Um, I My stuff isn't in like any of these so I you can always backtrack and go back here. So like see this is the same path that we were on. Program File, Steam. Um, so we can go to Steam and then I go to User Data. That's where my stuff is. 730 local CFG, same thing, right? But either way, you're essentially just creating that text file, putting your stuff in there, and then uh, make sure you relaunch your game, right? So uh, just for you know demonstration sake and stuff, imagine I, I uh, you know, close my game out, we're gonna relaunch our game, and let's hop back in once we've relaunched. So now that you're back in your game, what I want you to do is just to make sure it actually went through, I want you to type in exec auto, exec you shouldn't have to do this but just to make sure you know that all your commands are working and stuff it's a it's a good way to do it so we're gonna pull up just like mirage here d i can't type uh, d underscore mirage and we're gonna you know see if our settings are in and if we're chilling for me like i said i i know i've had this auto exec for a year a year and a half now so i know it's gonna work but you know it's always good to actually test if your settings worked out and stuff before you hop into some random game so Let's go ahead and throw it on practice mode here. If you guys want to know how to make a practice server, I have a video on my channel explaining that. But let's see if our jump throws work. Let's see. Boom, jump throw works. Does run jump throw work? Boom, does space, yep. Crouch jumping works, nice. So we're all set. And now you guys are gonna be set as well because you know how to create an auto exec in Counter-Strike Global Offensive so that all of your settings are saved, your view model settings, your Bob settings, anything you want will now be auto exec every single time you load the game and there's no more you know, wondering why your stuff is broken and not working. So if you guys have questions and you need advice, check out my channel. I've got lots of content dedicated to teaching you how to fix your problems, how to become a better player and how to fix your mental as well, not just the in-game stuff. So go ahead and check those videos out. Lots of helpful stuff. As CS2 comes around the corner, I'll be posting daily content with that game as well and we're going to be making sure that you guys are on your path to the pro so yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate every single one of you have a great day and peace out